1995's debut single, Someone to Love, catapulted the then 20-year-old John B. to platinum sales. But respect was still slow in coming for the babyface protege. Even though we had success at radio and we had the Grammy nomination and stuff, like you're still going to get pushed back because of the color of John's skin. When most people see John, they don't know if he's white, they don't know if he's light-skinned, and most people assume that he's black. On the first album, they kind of dressed him up and made him look like a light-skinned elder barge. So a lot of people thought that he was this light-skinned black guy. When people started finding out that John was white, they were kind of dumbfounded. Because they were like, how does a white boy sound this authentic? I went to the R&B capitals of the United States. And you'd be like, all right, you're pretty good for a white boy. But white boy, white boy, white boy. Sound just like Babyface. Okay, cool, but but y'all know that I'm I'm in this thing for life, so I'm I'm gonna take the blows. I'm gonna take the blows, but wait till you hear Pretty Girl. 